So as a gamer, should I buy NVIDIA RTX or AMD Radon? Hi there, welcome to Crypto Studio again. And this time as a gamer, I'm gonna consider should I buy an NVIDIA card or an AMD card? So for that, we need to come to different factors that I have experienced them, as I've already told you that I have tested all, both these two cards. Uh, we forget about the mark actually, we just think about NVIDIA or AMD just. And I'm gonna express about some factors that I personally experienced them and they are really important while uh, I was playing. And those who are really professional players must be careful about these factors and those who are normal players also should be a little uh, caring about all these factors that I'm going to mention. Uh, but I'm going to say that before all these AMD cards were a bit cheaper. Um, and uh, as far as I know, many users of these AMD cards have a problem with the driver. But actually, what you're seeing right now because of mining or because of different kinds of things that I don't know, inflation it could be, economical situation, electronic, uh, devices prices these AMD cards also got the same price as Nvidia cards so this is hard to decide which one should I buy from my PC right now the prices are all the same a bit maybe you find AMD cards cheaper but when it comes to the reality the prices somehow are the same when you see something new about graphic cards about GPUs uh, a technology that can be done by the graphic cards companies this is NVIDIA that has brought all of these features to the market first. I'm not gonna say that NVIDIA has invented all this technology, no, but actually this is NVIDIA who has brought all these technologies to the market for the first time. And what I'm seeing now is this, that AMD is following all these techniques and actually AMD is exactly bringing what NVIDIA is bringing. Sometimes, it is not always true, but sometimes you see that uh, some technologies are exactly like the technologies that NVIDIA cards are using, uh, but in another shape or in another format. Actually, AMD is exactly doing what NVIDIA is doing and a bit after what NVIDIA has done it. And while you see technology has been brought to the market by NVIDIA, a while later, a very short period of time later, you see that AMD has done exactly the same action. But I personally prefer to buy one of these NVIDIA cards because if I want to play with uh, 360 Hertz monitors, this is NVIDIA that supports everything for me. It gives me a very good quality. And also it has a kind of technology like ray tracing technology. So what is ray tracing technology? Then you can see that this is ray tracing technology and it is actually very important for the cards. AMD has also this technology, but it has been brought after NVIDIA or it is exactly something else but it works what ray tracing is doing into NVIDIA cards. But you know, as I've mentioned before, AMD doesn't have that support for the drivers actually. The driver issues were a lot and you always need to uninstall the previous version of a driver and reinstall another version uh, for your driver because sometimes you see the lack of stability for your GPU into your system. Although NVIDIA doesn't have the same uh, problem, but uh, what NVIDIA is not doing is this that doesn't release updates and it doesn't release drivers uh, continuously and it takes time to see the driver, but it doesn't matter really because the previous drivers are all working really well. It is not like AMD because as I experienced three times, four times in different windows, AMD was something that uh, gave me a very unstable system based on the driver it uses and I had to change the drivers over and over to see which one suits better. I reinstalled the driver sometimes, I uninstalled the driver, updated, I use different kinds of softwares like AMD softwares. It somehow bothers me, but actually Nvidia didn't do that while I just updated the driver from Windows itself and it gave me a very stable system while I play games. So one thing that the professional gamers should know that or those who play games in hardcore manner or the ones who uh, are earning money actually uh, from the gaming or working with some companies, I offer them to have an NVIDIA card because NVIDIA card has a technology called Reflex technology. AMD also has one, but not exactly that. This is not that powerful. Uh, what is Reflex technology? You may have experienced that once you're just uh, shooting with your mouse bottom, left mouse bottom. So 
actually what happens is this that your your weapon fires and it hits the target maybe some frames uh, are happening during this procedure but this latency um, actually is so low in nvidia cards while you are just pressing your mouse button and uh, your weapon fires and hitting the target they all happen in one frame and this is really good yes this is exactly something that some professional gamers have lost many games because of the lack of this power actually in some uh, graphic cards so for sure this is very important while i'm playing a game especially shooter games or uh, first person games while i'm uh, shooting a target the time that i press the left mouse button and i shoot the target and the time that my fire is coming out of the weapon they all should happen in a frame and this is what nvidia card with the reflex technology is giving us so in this case again i prefer um nvidia card but if you are a professional gamer a hardcore gamer the one that is using a game as a job the one who is working with different companies to uh test different kinds of games i offer you to buy one of these nvidia cards if you are that kind of gamer buy one of these if you're not that kind of gamer, it is not very important for you to shoot very fast. It's not very important to you to be a competitive gamer. If you are not actually a competitive gamer, what, what can be satisfying for you is buying one of these uh, AMD uh, GPUs. Uh, so as a conclusion, if I want to buy, I, I'm not a hardcore gamer actually. I, I don't want to be a competitive gamer, but sometimes I do games with my friends and this is very important that I take the first hand actually the upper hand from them so I buy one of these Nvidia cards because actually the prices are somehow the same maybe a bit uh, expensive you can find these Nvidia cards normally I will buy one of them uh, if your CPU is a Ryzen so it's okay to buy one of these things but maybe that doesn't satisfy you as an Nvidia card may satisfy you because the technology that is using is first brought to the market by NVIDIA card and actually AMD has followed all those uh, technologies afterwards exactly the same or in another kind of form. I hope you found all these things useful for yourself. If you have any other opinion, you can write in comment below because all I've, uh, I've said was just my own opinion, my own experience, there might be any other kinds of experience too. But don't forget to subscribe me first and then write your uh, opinion about NVIDIA cards or AMD cards, which one is better in the comments below. Thank you for watching, see you later.